Hey there. Um, just thought I'd do a little mini review on my bike. Uh, that's it really. Honda CBF125. I only had it uh, while I was passing my test. Um, I like the MT125 Yamaha, but for the amount of time I was going to keep it, I didn't really want to spend that much money for a... Uh, you know, to have it such little time, I managed to get this uh, full service history one owner from new with only 6,000 miles on it for £1,700. So, I mean, I, you know, I couldn't really refuse that deal just while I was uh, getting used to the bike and that. Um, but, you know, I wanted to at least make a couple of videos on it before I uh, sell it on. You know, before I get my, uh, my other bike, I wanted to try and get the um, MT07, so hopefully there'll be some videos of that coming up soon um yeah i mean it's been brilliant there's nothing uh nothing i can say bad about it really um you know because it was air cooled and not liquid cooled um i read things saying that air cooled uh engines and that can overheat when you're on long distances i mean i've never had any problems i've been out in you know late 20s degree heat for three or four hours you know it's been fine i mean on dual carriageways and whatever um, you know, and they've had any problems, so, yeah, that's about it, it's always started okay, make sure I'm taking up uh, space in this car park, I think, yeah, it's been brilliant, always uh, change all myself, it's for regular service, so another big service, um, everything's been brilliant, so, let's have a little ride off on it, starts on the button, all I've done, as if you can see that, uh, 8,533 miles, so I've done about 2,500 miles since um, March, uh, I don't need a bike for work or anything, it's just basically to have a bit of fun on, so I've just been riding around really, I haven't actually uh, done anything special, so there we go, get the kickstand up. Put this down so you can hear it a bit better. I mean, yeah, it's been a, uh, it's been brilliant. But it's just that I need that, I need that a bit more of power now. Do you know what I mean? Not so much that I'm cruising around. I mean, I'm not saying I'm going to do anything. I just like having a cruise around. I don't need to, you know, be going too fast and whatever. It's just a. Uh, It's just sometimes when I'm sitting on roads coming back from say, I like going to uh, Stratford upon Avon. I don't know if any of you know where that is. It's uh, you know about 25, 30 miles from me. I like coming back from there. And sometimes when I'm on like this sort of a road, uh, it might have three or four cars in front of you that are uh, you know not going too slow, but they're not really getting a move on. Um, and I just want to be able to overtake them really. So. You know, if you had that, if you hit a bit of a straight, you can just get past them where it's going to be a bit harder in this. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, it's been brilliant. Like I said, I've liked the MT125, I like the digital dash. Uh, it looks a lot smarter than that. Um, I know someone on YouTube here, Maz MT125, uh, has got one. He's got it in the colour I wanted to get the race blue. So, you know, if you're watching this, tell me what you think of it. You leave a comment or, you know, submit in another video if you like. Um, so it's a really nice bike, I really do like it, but I also, so I thought if I get the MT-07, it's sort of like I've got the uh, MT, but just a bigger version, so, <laughs> you know, I just wanted to, uh, obviously, it was just getting doing theory in my test really that I wanted to get done, so that's all good now, so I can uh, just try and get on with getting this MT, a bit more money to save up, I think, and then all good to go but yeah if anyone have, if any of you think you're ever getting a 125 um, you know if you if you're not old enough to do direct access or you have to get or you've got to wait before you can get your restricted access bikes uh, or you just want a 125 to commute to and from work then I mean yeah there are smaller uh, smarter ones they are the sports bike type like the YZF R 125 which I like as well uh, and yeah they probably do look better and everything it depends what you want really I mean if you're not old enough to or you can't haven't got the license to get a pro uh, proper sports watch should I say then if you get something like a wise death it'd be brilliant but personally I like the upright position a little bit better uh, 
and this Honda, you know, it's been really, absolutely brilliant, really reliable, never had any problems, always started on the bottom, and just like I said, I managed to get a good deal, so. If any of you are, this is a 2013 model, by the way, that's why it had the uh, white belly pan, I don't know if you saw underneath at the start of the video, and the uh, black engine, whereas uh, the ones before that had a silver engine, they didn't have the belly pan. But, yeah good deal so anyway like I said uh, in one of my other videos just getting into this uh, vlogging and that so if there's anything I haven't covered that everyone wants to know just let me know otherwise stay tuned more videos alright see you all in a bit bye bye